Do you wish that you had been in Cats? No. Is it because you can't dance? It's, that's one of the reasons. <laughs> Hi, so this is gonna go around your waist. The air in the room just totally changed. I forgot that this is real. <laughs> and whenever you're ready. I had a lot of caffeine, is that gonna affect my results? Yes, it's picking up everything. Is your birth name Chloe Celeste Hosterman? Yes. Do you also go by Dove Cameron? Mm hmm yeah. Do you answer to both Chloe and Dove? Yes. Are you 25 years old? Yes. Are you about to take a lie detector test? Yeah. Are you nervous? Kind of. Why? Uh, actually, I'm not nervous. I'm excited. I'm ready. We're going to start with the category life. You grew up in Bainbridge Island in Washington State. Would you say you're the most famous person to come from Bainbridge Island? Mm, I think that depends on what generation. Maybe? Maybe. No. I can't get a clear reading. Oh, God. I'll be more specific. Okay. Would you say you're the most famous person of your generation to come from Bainbridge Island? Yeah. It's a small town. It's not hard to do. So would you say you're more famous than this person? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. Do you know who that person is? That's Chris Kattan. I saw him on a plane once. I was very starstruck. Yes, that's true. Do you have a favorite project of his? Yeah, Night at the Roxbury. Do you know the famous dance from that movie? That's the whole dance, right? Basically, yeah. Are you more famous than this person? Oh, mm, yeah, I think so, because I don't know who that is. That answers my next question. Oh, God. This is my worst nightmare. I'm so sorry to that man. It's Jay Inslee. He's the governor. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't know that. I'm not surprised that I don't know that. So would you say you're more famous than Jay Inslee? Yeah. She's telling the truth. Washington is also the birthplace of Starbucks. Do you think Starbucks has the best coffee? No. Do you like Starbucks? I worship at the altar of Starbucks, but I don't think they have the best coffee. Do you like Starbucks more than this man? Likes Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> that photo. <laughs> you can't show me this photo. <laughs> I don't know how much. I mean, he looks very serious about his Dunkin' Donuts. Yeah, I do. I do like Starbucks more than than he likes Dunkin' Donuts. I feel confident in that. Is ordering a pumpkin spice latte a sign that someone's basic? Yeah. Have you ever ordered a pumpkin spice latte? No, I don't like pumpkin things. It feels like that was the most dangerous thing I've said so far. <laughs> I don't like pumpkin flavored anything. You have a Capricorn sign tattoo. Is that a really Capricorn thing to do? No. I think it's the opposite of a Capricorn thing to do. But I did it because my friend was afraid of the pain and uh, I was gonna go first to show her that it probably didn't hurt that bad. And that I think is a Capricorn thing to do. That's true. <laughs> do you regret any of your tattoos? No. You got that Capricorn tattoo when you were 14. Is that too young for a tattoo? Yes. <laughs> She's laughing. 
laughing at me. <laughs> if you had a kid, would you let them get a tattoo at 14? I don't know. I know I'm supposed to answer yes and no, but it depends on the kid. I, I put it somewhere where my mom was never going to see it, um, thinking that I was going to hide it, and I couldn't. The next morning, I told my mom, and, and then she told me not to tell my dad, and I think a few hours later, I told my dad. Um, I think it would depend on what kind of child I had. Would it depend on what the tattoo was? Oh, yeah, definitely. Would you get a matching tattoo with your child? Yeah. Let's move on to the next category, career. So you like to sing outside your car window while you're driving. Do you like feeling like your life is a musical? Yeah. Is there a musical to movie adaptation that you wish you were in? Oh, yeah. I'm basically all of them. I mean, I really wanted to be in Les Mis. Um, I would love to be in the Wicked movie whenever that happens. I'd love to even just be seen. I'll stand on a street corner with a megaphone. Um, and then I guess I know that Moulin Rouge went the other way, but I would have loved to have been in Moulin Rouge. What about High School Musical? No, because I, I'm i trying to leave my Disney Channel days behind me. And what about the respected Broadway production Cats? No, I could never be in Cats because I can't dance like that. That's questionable. Let me rephrase. Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> All right. <laughs> They're trying to get me. Do you wish that you had been in Cats? No. Is it because you can't dance? It's, that's one of the reasons. <laughs> I don't like the show. I've never liked the show. It's just not my fave. That's a strong reaction. She's telling the truth. Do you know all the words to the musical Hamilton? Uh, I would say I comfortably know like 80%, 85. Did you see Hamilton on Broadway? Yes. Does seeing Hamilton with the original cast mean you're better than everyone? Yeah. It's questionable. <laughs> Was it hard to get tickets? No. Not for me at the time. Must be nice. So you have some famous co-stars in Schmigadoon. Would you say that this one is funnier than this one? You can't ask me to do that. You can't ask me to do that. <laughs> oh, God. Um, Just answer the questions. They're equal? So you believe they're equally funny? Yeah. Have you ever not told a joke in front of them for fear that they might not laugh? A hundred percent. Every time I'm around them, yeah. Do you think that they would call you funny? No. <laughs> not compared to them or the people that they spend time with. I think I'm funny, but... The next category is relationships. So you've said that Jack Skellington was your first crush. Is that true? Yeah, that's my man right there. Would you say Jack is also your ideal body type? <laughs> no, but, no, but I will say I have a thing for, for tall, kind of lanky men. Do you think it's healthy to have crushes on fictional characters? Mm. Yeah, yeah, I guess who's to say what's normal or healthy? I think that these days with so much media, it's definitely hard not to have fictional characters be a part of like your earliest core memory, so yeah. Come on, look at this guy, these elegant fingers. That's a piano playing hands. This is a beautiful wounded man who had it all, but 
still was looking for fulfillment within, you know? Is it odd to think that people have crushes on characters you've played? No. I think it's kind of sweet. Have you ever read fan fiction about yourself? Yes. The Descendants cast and I used to sit around reading fan fiction about um, our characters together, like Jay and Carlos as boyfriends and Mal and Evie as girlfriends. We thought that that was pretty wonderful. That's actually some of my favorite fan fiction I've ever read. People get very passionate. You have a song, We Belong Together. Does that mean you believe in soulmates? I believe in, in multiple soulmates. I believe that you can have multiple soulmates and some of them are platonic. But I do believe in that kind of soul connection. Would you say that dating apps are ruining romance? Yes. Have you ever been on a dating app? No. Do you think that Raya is a safe place for celebrities to date? No. I've had a lot of friends meet on Raya, but I don't... No, I don't think so. Do you think that getting back together with an ex is a good idea? It depends on the ex and why the relationship ended. Have you ever gotten back together with an ex? No. Would you ever get back together with an ex? It would depend on the ex. That's questionable. Do you think that this woman getting back together with this ex is a good idea? Yeah. Do you think that this man would agree? <laughs> uh, you know, I don't know the inner workings of their relationship. Maybe he's supportive. At any point during this interview, did you lie and we didn't catch you? No. No.